All right, hi everybody. It's Bonk on Night Twenty Two here to bring you um the fixing things. One Piece, yeah, One Piece. Now, I hate this chair. Um, this chapter was pretty good. Gonna give this a slight edge over Bleach this week. Gonna give this a four and a half out of five. Um. This chapter told me one thing, and, and this was, um, I believe this was number 735, Fujitora's Objective. Now, this is the way I look at it. There are two people who are on Don Flamingo's ass right now, who are, who are looking at Don Flamingo and saying, I'm on to you. Your ass is grass. One of them is out in the open. The other one isn't. The other one is saying to him right now, okay, for now we're allies. For now I'll say, yeah, okay. But I'm going to drop a little hint here. I'm going to say, for now we're allies, but sooner or later, your ass is grass. Sooner or later, I'm going to get you. Now, I think this about Do Flamingo. He needs to tread lightly. Now, I'm probably going to get hate for saying this, but I think he needs to tread lightly. He does not want to make an enemy out of Fujitora. And I know a few people are saying, oh, his, his armor level. His. Well, if that's the case, then why did he feel threatened by, in this chapter, Fujitora's remarks? That's what I think. I think Doflamingo needs to back off. I think he needs to relax. And he needs to, you know. He can't. He can't make an enemy of both. Because especially, especially after what Fujitora told him. After what Fujitora told Doflamingo. He intends to abolish the Shubukai system. That blew me away. I was like, holy shit. That means you're all fucked. <laughs> that, that, that really blew me away. It's like you're all fucked. You can't hide anymore, Doflamingo. So this chapter to me really made me... I don't know if I want to call myself a Fujitora fanboy at this moment. But I'm beginning to like him. I'm beginning to like him. Beginning to understand it a little more. So yeah, let, let, let's get into the summary of this. Um, pretty much we have the beginning. We have the start of the finals. They're ready to start the finals. Um, and apparently it was announced that Diamante is also going to take part into this final matchup. And then we see Rebecca looking at Lucy. Um, and you know, uh, Tal May was acting like, oh, don't dress them like casually as like that. You know. Um, and... The person who she thinks is the Lucy that she saw beforehand is talking to her and saying, you know, I know who you are, more or less. Things might get a little messy. I can't make any guarantees, but I don't mean any harm. Everything's a facade. This country, in many ways, it really resembles the country we were brought up in. Yo, you know who that is. You know, you you guys know who that is, right? You know who that guy is. Yeah, it's funny during that scene they 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 shade it. they don't show you his face. Ah, but give or take, yeah, that's that's Sambo. It's funny that he told her that the country they were brought up in. It really it it tells you a lot. About Sabo in this chapter here with the whole thing there. So I thought that was nice, that little part there. So then we go on from that. We have Violet and she's basically taking Luffy and Zoro and Kinimon, who are dressed like animals, <laughs> um, to the lift. But she finds a hidden, a hidden, hidden location. Sort of like a shortcut. 
from what I from what was was stating here. Um, and she brings up she 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 recognizes Wika, the 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 uh, dwarf, um, and saying, "Did you forget my?" She's basically been watching them the entire time and knows about Rebecca and knows about Soldier Son and knows the whole thing. The whole thing. And I'm like, wow. That that's crazy. With her abil with her ability. And it, and as far as her is concerned, I, I can see one of them. Maybe one of them joining the crew. But we have to wait and see on that. But yeah, she uh <coughs> basically tells that to um the dwarf and he says, Why was that? you know? Um he'll be like, You're a princess, you know, uh, he's uh, just really just small talk here. And they go through this, um, um, it's an emergency passageway, which is the lift, which is this basket, um, um, that they can go through. And see, I think, I think it's a lift for, for luggage or something, but pretty much what ends on happening is Luffy goes to the top of the lift, of this chain thing, with a weight, so they can bring up, um, Zoro and Kinemon. And you get quick, quick on there, and, and and so on and so forth. Then after that, we go to Frankie. Now, and <laughs> Senor, I'm not being racist. That's the guy's name. It's the guy's name. Senor Pink. Senor. Uh, it's so funny because when I was reading this chapter, that's why I think they they say it when when they animate this part. I wondered how they're gonna say his name. Is it gonna be like a, a weird accent? No, but it's just, it's just me. Um, <clears throat> so so Frank is pretty much goes rock shotting them with the with the rockets, and they would say one of them would say like, oh, "That guy didn't have. I thought that was a gun on top of his head, but it really wasn't." So, um, Senor Pink is just sitting there brushing his teeth and shit, and he's like, "Senor." Senor, you know, and he gets shotted by um, Frankie, and pretty much, um, he's say they're asking why he didn't use his power. He says, "I swim when I feel like swimming," so nonchalant, and he basically was protecting them, um, give or take. And he was like, "Why are you putting brandy on there and stuff?" And he basically was protecting his nakama, his friends. And he was like, "Oh, my heart is fast, worse than yours." You know, it was so ridiculous. While that's going on, another person shows up to fight Frankie. So it's not just Senior Pink. This Vice guy. Whoa. Gonna call it. I think his power has something to do with weight. Yeah. This. Uh, shows up out of nowhere, tries to buy, go on top of just his ton ton um, on him, and Frankie dodges his, dodges it. It's Mock Vice. This guy is crazy huge. Um, probably like I said, like I said, something to do with weight, I think. And he's like, "Shut it up, super! You guys are idiots!" And Frankie's basically talking to him, and then out of nowhere, the Marines show up. And tell Frankie to freeze. And saying the Marines have surrounded the toy house. You cannot escape. And at that point. Frankie's like why are the Marines here? My Vice is like what's that? I wasn't paying attention. And then Senior Pink's basically saying. Some more guys trying to get on my bad side. And then we go from that. To Fujitora and Don Flamingo. Now I don't know if they're going to arrest Frankie. I don't know if they're going to take him in. Or try to attack him. See, this whole thing with Fujitora and Don Flamingo, this is what I like to call a temporary truce. A temporary alliance. This isn't like with Luffy and Law. No. Fujitora is basically putting it right out there. He says, I intend to abolish the Shubakai system. He said it in this chapter, and I'm going to call it right now. Called right now. Fujitora is nothing like, well, man, I wouldn't go that far. Nothing like Akiyama. But he's a different kind of admiral. He's not 
the same kind. If you get my drift. So, and that's basically what he said to, 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 you know, you know, he's like, oh, wise choice, Fujitora, you know, basically in a room called the Hall of Suits. And this is what he says. It's not as, as I intend to make you an ally. The Straw Hats are on the scene and some suspicious characters also in the, joined the fray. It was the most logical course of action. And this is, I'm going to state this right now, what he says word for word, because it needs to be stated. The Marines need to be utilized so that the harm that comes to the citizens is kept to a minimum. If Straw Hat decides to go after your head, we won't, he won't spare us any destruction. Wouldn't you agree? And so stopping that is my justice. As for you, I'll deal with you later. Fujitora's words were like, in my opinion, daggers to Doflamingo. They were basically this message. I'm your ally for now, but later on, your ass is grass. Your ass is mine. I'm taking you down. I'm taking you to jail. That's basically what I think Fujitora was basically saying in this chat. So after that, you know, he's like, oh, what did you say? I'm still wet behind the... I think this is what um, Doflamingo is saying, wet behind the ears. And he's like saying, I accepted the position of Admiral because there are many things I wish to see to fruition. One such thing is the abolish, the abolishing, the, I can't even say that word, abolishing the Shubakai system. Taking it and destroying it, getting rid of it. That was crazy when he said that. And he's, you see, he's like, he's pissed. He's really pissed at him for saying that. And to me, I think of one thing. Fujitora is the kind of admiral you want in One Piece. It's the kind of admiral you would love in One Piece. The kind of admiral you like in One Piece. Because he's the guy who's basically here and he's saying, Okay, listen. I've had enough of this system. This is... This is the system is unfair. And we really think about it. The Shubukai system, as, as much as it is for protecting islands like, you know, the one with Hancock and everything. Doom Flingo, he took care, he took advantage of the, the, the Shubukai system by making himself king. Because they won't, they'll go near him. So, and he's like, also the matter of the pirate hijacking a certain country. It's only because he was able to learn ramp it, that country, which in such a sorry state. Then what are the balance of the three powers? Well, I guess we won't know until we stare it. That is why if you insist on piling crimes on top of one another, the price on your head will continue to rise. Won't you say, Mr. Heavenly Demon? That's when Don Flamingo kicks him. He blocks it with his sword. Through your door. And he's like, am I hearing things? Or did you say you would kill me? Well, you can't. And he's like, don't get worked up. Let's be friends for now. And he's like saying, I'll protect the country, so on and so forth. And he's like, from point, this point onward, no matter what of the flaws come to bear light, I'm nothing but a blind man. It means I will not be able to see them, so don't worry. This, and he's like saying, I think, this is the year of the reverie. I don't know what that was. No matter how much you may not wish it, the world will stir. And that's pretty much what he says to the flamingo. Then after that, we go to Kalua, or Koala, Koala. She's in the tournament. She made it in time, and it's about to go down. Uh, new ring is constructed and everything, and we see <clears throat> someone who looks <laughs> like Lucy. Sabo. Sabo. And Bartolomeu, he's making fun of his name, uh, you know, and it, they're making their arrival, and Lucy makes his entrance, and it says, in Luffy's place, what can this man accomplish? And it says, he says, watch over me, Ace. That's the end of the chapter. Listen, I don't care what anyone says, Fujitora, I love this motherfucker. This guy, in my opinion, best guy for the job. He was picked the perfect guy to pick to be Admiral. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I think Fujitora pretty much just look at Don Flamingo and says, listen, I'm your friend for now, but later on, I'm taking you down. That's basically what he said. 
and I love it. I love it. I love Oda is just taking Fujitora and just putting it out there and telling right in Dolph Flamingo's face, listen, listen, I will be your friend for now, but later on, no. Later on, I, I'm going to change things. I'm going to abolish the Shubakai system. I'm taking you down. I just love that. And that reason alone is why I'm giving this a four and a half out of five. And why I think Fujitora, ah, the best. He's the best. He's the best. Um, you know? He even brought out the crimes that, that, that freaking Do Flamingo did. And when he did, he was, like, oh, he was pissed off. I said, good. Good. So now you know that you're not above the law, motherfucker. Hey, Zalan, listen. Anyone who likes Dolph Flamingo, I am just there. You like him. Good. But listen. Fujitor is in the house. And he's saying, no. I'm your friend for now. But later on, I'm going to deal with you. And I like that shit. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about this review, about this chapter. I, I personally love Fujitora now. Love him to death. This guy is awesome. Just because he's he wants to abolish the, the Shibukai system alone is, is, is just wow. You know? So, we'll see what happens next week. This is going to be awesome. We'll see Sabo. Sabo! Go in. Should be interesting. I'm Bonkai922. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.